If you're looking for a video of a before and after of someone who went from knowing nothing about guitar, nothing at all, and then played it, learned it, tried it for 30 days, this is the video for you. It's going to be quick, concise, and just a little bit about my personal experience learning guitar. Okay. It has been 30 days. <clears throat> 30 days. So back in the month of March, I committed to playing guitar for 30 minutes every day. I have always wanted to play guitar and I've always just kind of put it off by saying I'll do it someday and that mentality kind of held me back from doing it and I knew that I would never actually do it if I didn't just commit to it. So I just finished my first session. I just finished my first session ever playing the guitar. I've never learned anything remotely close to a note or a chord. All that to say, I'm a complete beginner and I can successfully play. <coughs> Sorry, Grandma. And I can successfully play E and D. This is D. Oh, dear. Let's just do this real quick, see how fast I can get it. Three, two, one, D. Of course I mess up. Oh, my fingertips. I've been doing this for an hour. My fingertips are broken. And then I can do E. This is E. This is day one. Let's see what I look and sound like at day 30. Ow. Oh. Fingers hurt. <laughs> it has been 30 days of playing guitar every single day. I'm not gonna lie, I have missed two days and it's not every single day that I play for 30 minutes. Some days I played for an hour and a half, some days I played for 15 minutes. But I at least tried to get 15 minutes every single day, but I like to average it out and say about 30 minutes a day. But here's some chords that I've learned that you can see how fast I've, I can transition between them. I'm still pretty slow, but way better than I was. So here is an E. Here is an A. Here is a D. Here is a G, here is a C, here is a E minor, here is a F, now this one I just learned the other day, got it, F, that's a hard one, that's so hard, and then F minor, which I just learned the other day too. Got it, kind of. Anyways, so that's kind of the progress I've made. I have learned all those chords. I have learned Riptide, the song by Vance Joy. Strum strumming is the hardest part, I think, and like trying to find the strings and the transitions between the chords. I've got the chords down, but it's just the timing and the strumming and just like playing it exactly. And it's just hard. I'm on camera, so I'm screwing up. It's the strumming. The strumming is hard. So it goes E minor. G. And then C. And it's a down, down, up, down. up down up down down but <laughs> getting it at that speed and at that tempo and then switching chords is like i don't know if my growth rate has been fast or slow or average but i mean i'm way better than when i started e a d g c e minor f and f minor i got eight chords down in a month 
And they're not completely down yet. Yeah. That's a month. A month on guitar. That's what I've learned over the course of this month. It has been so fun. So fun. I've always wanted to learn guitar, and I've finally done it. And I'm going to continue to do so. I took that first step, which I think is honestly the hardest in almost everything in life. It's always that first step that's just difficult. Set foot in motion. Set foot, step foot, set foot, set foot, or step foot. Anyhow, I'm not great, and I'm just going to be honest with you, it's still hard. Um, I will say, though, that my fingertips feel no pain anymore. The first day, after the first day, oh my gosh, my fingers were on fire, especially my index finger. It was just like, I felt like there was a paper cut on my finger for like two days after my first time playing, and then the days following were just hard. But after about, I'd say, four days is when it started callousing up and not hurting as much. But yeah, after I got over that, it was just cake. It was just fun. I learned the patterns pretty fast. I stopped looking at the chord sheet after, I don't know, I'd say a week. And it was just in my head and I was just playing them from memory and going off that. I also followed along with a Skillshare thing that I did. I got the two months free from, you know, you see all the advertisements on YouTube if you're watching this. Did that for two months. It was actually pretty cool. He taught me a bunch and he kind of broke it down. All the basics about a guitar. I mean, the frets, the strings, the fingers, the finger placements, the chords, how to play them, how to tune it, how to, how to strum. So yeah, that's 30 days. 30 days on the guitar. Yeah, I can't, uh, I can't solo like that yet. So we will just put in sound effects to make it look like I soloed. See you in the next one. Now I just want to end the video and say, let's say what? I want to encourage you to try an instrument because it's an amazing thing. It's an amazing thing. I always thought I couldn't do it. I was kind of raised with this in my head. I was like, I cannot do music. I'm not, I'm not, I don't have the musical talent. I don't have the gift, blah, blah, blah. Just, just do it. Just try it. Just sit down, dedicate a month of your time and see the progress for yourself. Cause I saw the progress and I was like, I can do it. So yeah, I just encourage you to try an instrument, anything. Right now. Do it right now. Right now. I mean, we're in quarantine. What else are you going to do? Watch Netflix? Watch more YouTube? Sorry. That was a bit harsh. Go back to what you were doing. <laughs> see you in the next one. Look at my fingers. But you can't see that. Um.